Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. That's right, I changed camera angles, briefly, because the Locker Gnome Daily Report is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the way I meet with my team online, and with GoToMeeting you can share the same screen so you stay on the same page, and HD video makes it like being in the same room together. You can launch or join a meeting using your computer, phone, or tablet, even present from your iPad, like I do just about every day to meet with my Vlogger Fair team. And believe you me, that event is coming together nicely. Hopefully, we will see you there in person. But if we ever met and needed to do it online, GoToMeeting is probably going to be the easiest way. You can try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Just visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. I know that many of you don't use Google+, and I kind of wish you would. It's kind of a geek playground over there. But I just changed my profile header image over on my Google Plus profile. I want you to take a look and look closely. It'll freak you out. Intel Atom or Intel Core i5 asks Alex. I'd tell you his last name, but it's probably easier if you read it and said it aloud to yourself. Each processor serves a different kind of market. If you're just looking for a basic kind of PC experience, an Intel Atom processor is going to do just fine. But if you're looking to do more powerful things like edit video, you're probably going to want to go with an Intel Core i5. Of course, more power is also going to cost more money, so it just depends. I know you guys are already sick of me saying that, but here's the thing. I can't give you a blanket answer because if I did, then you would call me biased. Imagine if my response for everything was Android or iPhone. You guys would go nuts. What's the best Android phone out there? An iPhone. See, that just doesn't fit. Even though we have a lot of geeks in our community, you gotta understand that when I do a video for YouTube, specifically related to something that could be geeky, it's to take that geeky construct and try to translate it into English so that non-geeks can understand what's going on. And believe you me, the last thing anybody wants to hear is the same answer over and over again. For example, what's the best keyboard shortcut on Windows 8? Did you know they had keyboard shortcuts in Windows 8? We've got a free ebook, a cheat sheet for keyboard shortcuts in Windows 8, and you can download it with the link that we put in this video's description. Oh, yeah, did I say it's free? It's also free. And free. There I go again, trying to help people. But let's say you're not a Windows 8 user. You use a Mac. Would you want to optimize your Mac? Okay. How about using XScan? I can save you 66% on buying a copy. It detects hardware and hard drive failures before they happen. Customizable alert management. You can also monitor the behavior and temperature of your processors. Dang, dude, this is a power user tool. But even if you're not a power user, it could still come in handy if you have a Mac. Let's see here. So I've given equal time to Mac OS X and Windows so far. What else shall we cover? How about this bit of news? Samsung is preparing a watch product to rival Apple's rumored iWatch. So let me get this straight. Apple hasn't officially announced anything, and yet Samsung is officially dedicating resources to combat the thing that Apple hasn't officially announced. Seems legit. I don't know if Apple's going to be building an iWatch, but I can tell you, and I think I've said this before, the one feature I would love to see on it is a FaceTime camera, because imagine being able to look at your watch and then be able to communicate with someone by way of that little screen, because that's all you would need. Which I realize kind of defeats the whole purpose of a watch. It's just that it's so uncomfortable. Ah, I don't like wearing accessories. And yes, I realize that statement is slightly ironic, considering that I'm wearing a Wolverine hoodie from staticstuff.com. Although a hood really isn't an accessory. This is an accessory, and I love wearing this because I love my wife. I will live a life of discomfort just to make her happy. That's what marriage is all about! The Redbox Instant app has arrived on Xbox Live. The primary reason I have Xbox 360s strewn about my house is because they're more than just gaming machines. I always saw the promise in what Microsoft was putting together, and I can tell you, it's like a Trojan horse for Microsoft. How many people have Xbox 360s out there? The Xbox 360 does more than just gaming, certainly now with entertainment options right at your fingertips. They also happen to be our primary DVD players around the house, although I kind of wish they supported Blu-ray discs, and eh, maybe with the next iteration. Because I got this today! It's The Hobbit on Blu-ray. I still have not seen this movie, so don't give me any spoilers or anything. I didn't read the book. I know, I know, it was just so long and long-winded. <clears throat> I enjoy movies, these cinematic masterpieces, but this one, purchased at the store, has a Bilbo Baggins exclusive minifig inside, and you know me and Lego, right? Right? It's my precious. Google Images adds filters for animated GIFs and clip art. I do love Google, if only for one reason, and that is the support for animated GIFs. Everywhere. Who doesn't like animated GIFs? I've 
always loved them. I love being in animated GIFs. How's your Wi-Fi performance doing for you, especially on an iPhone 5? Could it be better? Well, you may consider picking up this case. A Lin case, which has a signal enhancer built in. Looks like a normal iPhone case until you slide up this antenna, which will boost Wi-Fi signal reception. And it does work. They sent it to me the other day and I was testing it in different places around my home. You know, first with the antenna down and then with the antenna up and it did make a difference, especially when that signal was weak. It gave me that much more strength. And that's when you need signal strength the most. Are you guys looking for a good Wi-Fi tool to use around the home to make sure you're optimizing your network? I got one for you. Check it out. It's freeware available for OS X called NetSpot at netspotapp.com. You install it on your Mac, walk around the house, and it'll tell you where your signal is the strongest or the weakest, and it's easy to use. Oh yeah, and again, it's free. If you use Windows, you could try NetStumbler, although I can't see it's as easy to use. Thanks again to Absolute Technology for sending me their link case, and you can see right here, with 360 degree reception, up to 50% Wi-Fi boost. Amazon allegedly in talks with record labels about subscription music service. Yeah, it was a matter of time. So there's my question for you today. Would you rather keep the MP3 files and have them indefinitely, or would you rather just buy into a music subscription service and rent your music forevermore? Which side do you fall on, or are you right in the middle? Let me know in the comments. U.S. probes Microsoft and partners over bribery claims. I wonder if that's related to the news where Microsoft is paying developers $100 per submitted app to the App Store for Windows 8 or Windows Phone 8 because they need more apps and they're actually paying money for you to develop for them. It's kind of like a slippery slope. According to Russell Hawley over at geek.com, and by the way, Russell is an awesome guy to know, Google is expected to unify chat under the name Babel. Try saying that five times fast. Google Babel, Google Babel, Google Babel, Google Babel, Google Babel. Okay, that wasn't so difficult. Because let's see here, they have Google Talk, Messenger, Hangouts, the list goes on and on. It's nice to finally be able to say I'm available under one client instead of 17. Bug in EA's Origin game platform allows attackers to hijack player PCs. It's just one bit of good news after another for EA. Did you see that they're offering a free game for people who are having problems with SimCity? Microsoft now allowing business customers to buy surfaces in volume. Cool, but my question is, do businesses want to buy surfaces in the first place? Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you want to save money on your next purchase on GoDaddy, email me first. I will send you my latest list of coupons. Chris at Perillo.com. And today's question is, how does my mom like her Mac? And if you hear dad talking in the background, it's because dad is talking in the background. <laughs> okay, so the question is, how do I like my Mac? Yes. I like my Mac. Why? Um, because the first thing is because of the ease of using it. I think it, it, having had the iPhone and going over to the Mac, I think um, everything is familiar. It, it's just easier to use. And when you say easier to use, it's because you were used to DOS and Windows for all those years? Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't even know how to go back to them. Really? I, I just don't think so unless I... I mean, I could sit down and on dad's and see if I could really figure it out, but like I'm not on my computer all the time. I'm really not. So when you don't use it all the time and you think, you know, I did that once, but I can't remember how I did it. Did you find yourself frustrated when you used Windows? Windows? Yes. Do you remember? No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't remember. I remember at work, because we had Windows at work, and I remember at work getting a new system and really not being trained on it or anything. You know, we'd come in in the morning and all of a sudden we had a new system, we had to figure it out. And so I just hit buttons, because I figured, you know what, our IT department can undo whatever I did. So in your time with the Mac specifically, is it something you would recommend other people who are like you use over a traditional Windows PC? Yes, because I think it's easier to get used to using it. Yes. Really? I, I'm, I'm curious to know that because for years, you know, it's been said that the Mac is easier to use than the PC, but I find them equally easy to use. I'm just curious as to why you would say that. Well, again, I don't, I, it's been such a long time since I've used my, uh, a PC. And what do you use primarily on your Mac? Ooh, okay. Um, what do you use it for? Uh, Word. I use that. I, I do documents and, and type things up. 
Um, yes, I still use iTunes. So I use <laughs> iTunes. I don't care if you use iTunes. I don't have to use iTunes. That's you. I did a one-on-one -on, -one on ringtones because I thought that would be fun to have different ringtones for everyone. And uh, so you were helping me create in GarageBand some ringtones. Now you've been using the iPad for maybe a couple weeks now. Do you see yourself reaching for it before reaching for the Mac to do the same type of task? Actually, yes. And why? I used to reach for this to look at Gmail and Facebook uh, because it was just handy. I always had it with me. I don't get into on my computer every day, so it might be a few days before I check um, uh, Gmail and Facebook. So if I knew I had a, a big amount to check, I would go to my Mac because to save battery. Uh, so now, <laughs> because iPad is so convenient, I just do it on the iPad. It's generally, probably when we get home, we'll be on the end table right by where I usually sit. So that'll just be really convenient because this sits in my office, which is my dining room table. <laughs> All right, speaking of battery life, this camera's battery is about dead. So is there anything else you'd like to say about your Mac? When I first got it, going from PC to a Mac, the first night I had it, I really wanted to throw it through the window. Truly. Truly wanted to just take it and because it was different from the PC. But then I got to playing with it and playing with it and playing with it. And I think that's what you need to do, not to be frustrated. Um, if you're just getting into something like this, but just to play with it and push buttons and Hopefully you're not pushing one that you can't undo. Although you just told me command Z undoes So that's a good command to know That's my mom. Thanks again for watching and sharing our videos. We'll see you later